the green line I've drawn in here is what is called the power line. Now we're looking at a little different angle on the swing. I kind of like these face-on angles sometimes too. Uh, let's go ahead and play the swing at full speed and see if you can see anything that's going on here. Okay. What I noticed at full swing is a lot of lower body action on the backswing uh, where he pulls his left knee really far away and almost does a reverse pivot where he's actually looks like he's pivoting around the front leg. Uh, he looks kind of bunched up there. Uh, what we'd like to see is that angle maintained where that left knee stays on the green line, the ear stays on the green line, and the butt actually goes to the outside of the green line instead of away from the green line to the inside or to the left. The butt See, what's happening here is that he is no longer in a forward tilt of his spine. His spine now is straight up and down. You can see that. There's the spine angle. Uh, at setup, his spine angle would have been about at 30 degrees. So from here, that spine should be tilted here. Now, what people feel like is they need to keep their heads still. Well, they need to keep their head still on their body, and the body has to turn. Uh, let's clear that all out of the way. Uh, now we're going to start back down again, and what we want to see here is a dramatic shift of the uh, lower body to the target area. He's got that in pretty good, not bad. Good ro rotation there, good athleticism. But you can see right now, it's how far under the club his right hand is. Uh, you can see also, you can see a whole lot of torque in that golf club. And that's because he's hitting the ball a little bit on the toe and bending the shaft. He's actually overpowering the shaft right here. So what happens is because his hand is so far under the club, you saw that right there, that he never got a chance to rotate uh, the club face close, which adds an additional closing of the club and club head speed. That left elbow flying out like it is there, uh, it's kind of like Jordan Smith, uh, but Smith has the ability to rotate the club through while he does that. I'd like to see him keep that left uh, uh, elbow down more through impact, not flying it up like that. Uh, if you look at the opposite side of that swing, notice the forearms are on a parallel line. I'd like to see the forearms on a parallel line here too, where they're parallel to each other, not one above the other, right on through to a finish. He ended up getting forward pretty good, but he's got a couple of things that he's got to work on.